In this video, I'm going to attempt to survive a hundred days on Path of Titan's official servers. And if I die even once, I'm going to delete my hentai folder. The challenge is simple. Just survive a hundred in-game days. One day in here are supposed to be 45 minutes all in all. Not sure if it's completely true, but I believe it for now. Plus, I'm too lazy to figure it out on my own. For this challenge, I of course wanted a creature who has a high survivability. I wanted something fast, something that is easy to hide, and something that can swim, just in case I can use the water as a getaway card. As for fighting, well, fighting aren't exactly top priority when you're trying to survive. I logged into the official servers, quickly did the missions, and with my exit out of the home cave, I had started my journey. I started off at Hunter's Thicket, not exactly the most ideal place. Babies usually spawn there, and there can be campers waiting for an easy kill. Oh, and just in case if somebody doesn't know, the official servers doesn't have any server rules or any admins to uphold the peace. In other words, total anarchy. Wishing to grow quickly, I of course got the big quest out of the way first. As for home cave, I kind of laid off with that until I felt like I was big enough to visit. Sometimes campers will try and attack anyone who tries to visit the home cave. As a juvenile, I wouldn't stand a chance. Just in case if you don't know, on the official servers there are no passive growth, meaning you don't grow over time. The only way for you to grow is by completing quests. On completion, you will gain a set amount of growth. The quests aren't all the same. Some quests are easy to fulfill and relatively safe to do. However, on completion, they only grant a small amount of growth. More dangerous quest means more growth. Let's go, Triclops! While editing this, looking back with fresh eyes, I kinda just attack without any second thoughts behind this. And looking at the amount of HP I got left, this video could have been a lot shorter than it actually is. My top priority at the time was to become an adult. Of course, that wasn't going to be easy. I had my own share of danger to look out for. <gasps> That's a full grown adult! Hello? I'd rather was some adult. Either way, he can kill me. <laughs> Why are you roaring? He can't see me, right? Is he calling just uh, to scare me? Am I visible? Suspicion suspiciously looking my direction. Why there? Why right there? Why there? R almost right next to me. Am I more visible than I actually think I am? Uh, let's not stick around to find out. There's a lake on the other side of this, uh, uh, on these hills. I want to go there. Screw this! As my top priority also was to survive, even if I had easy missions, I would always prioritize surviving. I could always live to quest another day. I kill you! Oh, that was way too close for comfort. It got a it got a pretty good skin though. That's a nice looking skin actually. I would uh, ask what it's called, but um, I do not trust the raptors. And I'm gonna go this way. And by the way, yes, I do prefer solo play, so I'm not even gonna trust my own kind. 
Besides, I wouldn't know if they would kill me. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. And I would only fight battles I knew I could win. Ooh, baby gecko. Hey, don't you try to bite me? Do you see the size difference? I am almost adolescent. And judging by your uh, size, I would judge that you're probably just a fresh spawn. But do you actually believe that you can kill anything as a fresh spawn? And now you're... <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't so smart now, was it? Yeah. I don't know why you thought you could win a head-to-head -head clash when I'm this much bigger than you. However, you think you can just run after starting this? Oh no, you're gonna see this through to the end. Don't just start something you can't finish. Out of stamina, eh? Next time, choose your opponent more wisely, kid. After which, I became tired IRL, so I spent the rest of the time as a juvenile and semi-FK. If a day was 45 minutes IRL, that means I would have to play 3-4 to four days with no rest to complete this challenge. Of course, there's no way my health could up all that, so I had to take breaks now and then. In other words, this video took a long time and a lot of effort to make, so if you like this video, do please show your support to the channel. And now I'll introduce to you a little twist I added to the challenge. To add a little spice to the challenge, every 10 days I would receive an additional challenge which I would then would have up to next challenge 10 in-game days to complete. If I fail to complete any of these tasks, then I fail and the video is over. And if the task gives any conditions, for example, play as a pacifist, you can only run if you get attacked. If I later receive a hunt this creature, then that task will overrule the old one. First challenge, let's do this. Um... Unpopular opinion. You know what, I'd rather do this than moving to Crater. By the way, not all of the tasks are in-game related. Unpopular opinion, unpopular opinion. Uh, the Tartaglia fans who simp for Tartaglia, you guys are mental. You are literally simping for a terrorist. Is that unpopular opinion or is that just controversy? In any case, to my standards, I think that was task completed. For the next 10 days, I did nothing but questing, growing, and avoiding danger. That's a raptor. With a Rex. And... Is he running though? No. No, don't you... No, 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 I know. I know what you guys are like. You, you act friendly and when I have my guard down... You attack. I'm sure those raptors are in the cahoots with the Rex. It's always like that. They are a quick creature in the group, they use them as scouting party and when they find something they make noises and the big guy will come and kill it. What, are those guys mad that I didn't fall for the trap? It's kinda obvious. Of course not every player was like that. Some players just wanted to do what I was gonna do. Questing, surviving and waiting for adulthood. All of the encounters I had weren't that interesting nor was it action packed, so I'm just gonna skip to day 30. Day 30. Skip the wheel up. And then, let's see what I gotta do next. Ah. Leave only of other plays for the rest of the duration of this challenge. Damn it! That means I can I can only eat other players for 10 days. Meaning, ah, this means I cannot eat any AI or any corpses. Well, the AI generated corpses at least. Lucky for me though, that didn't mean I had to go and hunt adult creatures. To my luck, a young Allosaurus. No parents, no guardians, no protectors. A most ideal target for a starring opportunist such as myself. The young Allosaurus was of good size, but not too big. Adolescent at best. And with
atomic target at sight, the hunt began. Oh, you think you can run from me? I see your footprints. <sighs> they smell of fear. Die 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 I am coming to get you 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 So please die 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 I'm starting to believe that playing with condition can test one's mentality. After I dodged maul that Allosaurus, I decided, you know what, since I had to maul a lot of children, let's go to a place where I think a lot of children will spawn. At the time, this was my mindset, and I expected to be greeted by children. Instead, I got this. Why is there a full grown T-Rex there? There's nothing but babies who spawn here, I think. Why would you stoop so low into killing defenseless babies? I mean, who would do such a thing? I became an adult here. Despite that fatso's interference, there were children here. But I would have competition in getting them. At some point, I started to stay semi-AFK again. Spoiler alert, you will see a lot of semi-AFKing. I also did take a break uh, somewhere in here, but I don't remember when. I tried to play at least 12 to 15 hours a day. That way, I could at least finish the challenge within a week's time. In any case, I had reached day 30 and it was time to get a new task. Time to get a new task, you waxy. Get me something good, I don't wanna do anything to you. <laughs> Not that. Anything but a hot spot. This means I can't leave even after the duration of 10 days. <laughs> Hello, crater. This is probably going to be my coffin. Hopefully there's... There's a spino in there. Maybe I can make friends with the spino and he'll protect me. I had the right mindset. At the current time, it would seem that the spinos were the dominant power in the crater. The rest of the stuff were small stuff. Meaning, if I could get the Spino on my size, the rest would have to follow suit. But how does one befriend the Spino? After having a look on what my alliance could be, I figured out that the water was kind of murky. Which means, if I could clean the Spino's water, then maybe they would see me as a, some sort of a symbiotic alliance friendship. For example, you don't really pay attention to the cleaning crew, however, you do appreciate their work. If I only can apply this mindset onto the Spino, then perhaps... Oh, look at that cool cabin there. Ooh, he's cleaning my water. Ooh, I got something else I wanted to clean. Ooh. Even more luck for me, it would seem that I would have a chance to prove my allegiance. A duo Pycnonomosaurus. Quite aggressive, wouldn't you say? Just attacking a random raptor like that? However, their fate was sealed once this happened. And with that, the stage was set. I now had an enemy. A common enemy with the Spinos. If I could kill one of them, there is no doubt I will have gained the Spinal's trust. But how does one kill something without risking death? Simple. Patience. And seeing the opportunity. A Spinal can apply tons of damage, but because of lack of speed, he can't apply pressure. An aloe, however... With the aloe weakening him, that was my chance. I never really liked mixed packers. However, I hate KOSing people more. After all, mixed packers don't always KOS. Well, 
while I put my life on the line, attacking those who disturb the peace. I hope that he will gather the right attention. Ah, look at that Kevinary. He's being so brave nibbling at those pecknos. I got something else I want him to nibble on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I know, right? He's really giving them a pounding. I'm kinda jealous. It would seem that I wasn't the only one who wanted the Pignos dead. The Pignos had been gathering a ton of attention, most of which was from people they had attacked. With the exception of Paki, I think. I think the Paki just wanted to join in the fun. In a moment, adrenaline took over, and I got a bit of tunnel visions. But with the death of one Pikno, and the adrenaline rush rearing off, I figured out that this was a bit too close for comfort. Thankfully, I got cover from the big spinal. There was a good chance that the other Pikno saw how weak I was after that clash, meaning he would have given chase if it weren't for the other creatures. With me spearheading the assault against the Pycnos, I now had proved my allegiance, and my protection was guaranteed. For the rest of the time, I decided to stay in the background, staying away from whatever action or shenanigans was happening. As long as I kept a low profile, nobody really cared too much about me. And the few who did, well, all I really needed to do was just last long enough for one of my alliance members to come and help me. A cowardly strategy, I must admit, however, when you're trying to survive, fighting should be the least of your priority. Staying in the middle of crater was only an option. Most of the time, I was actually just sitting at the cliffside leading into crater. Hiding in bushes and out of sight from many shenanigans going on in crater. Even though I'm semi-aquatic, the water in crater aren't exactly a safe option. Besides, even though it's not at the center of Crater, according to the map, I am still in Crater. So I'm currently not breaking any rules, technically. Please be leaving the Crater forever, but please be leaving the Crater forever. Yes! Yes! Move three location away from your current location. Yes, yes, and this overrules the old one, so that means I can get away from this hellhole. Wasting no time, I traveled through Shoptooth Mash, through Burnt Forest, through ocean monuments or structures, I don't remember, to Rainbow Hills. Well, technically I spent most of my time at Flyer's Buff, just being semi-AFK, and I traveled back to Rainbow Hills just to eat and also drink, sometimes doing quests, and need some more, after which I would just go back to being semi-FK on Flyer's Buff. From day 40, I only played to like day 49, which is like 6.75 hours IRL. If one day are 45 minutes, then this entire challenge should take 75 hours. This was my fourth day of doing this challenge, and I was starting to get tired. From here on out, you're going to see a lot more semi fk And we're back with this bullshit. Give me my next task. I think this is day. Uh, they already forget. I think this is day uh, 60. Yeah, this is probably day 60. Kill anything. That's kind of easy, right? That can't be too difficult. It was that difficult. Believing that this would be an easy task to complete, I headed towards a uh, hunter's thicket. No baby. No babies. And that's a full grown T Rex. Is that a full grown T Rex? That's a full grown T Rex. F this, I'm out. I continued west, 
and at some point I did start to think the task did tell me to kill anything, and anything kinda also applies to AI, right? However, I decided against that idea. I wanted to do something more challenging. I wanted a real target. One of my worst decisions of my life. I continued onward west, down to Grand Plains. Grand Plains is a hotspot, right? There's bound to be something there. And I was greeted with a jaw full of aloe teeth. At first I wanted to measure his ability. If he was a new battle player who just wanted smoke, then I would try and kill him. Much to my surprise, he was actually quite competent. I did bait him to a place where I had a terrain advantage. However, the risk weren't worth the effort. I still had a challenge to complete, so dying here wasn't an option. I continued my search for a better suited target. Unfortunately for me, a good target aren't just gonna waltz up to my lap. Looking back, I kind of feel like it's on me that I should have known that Grand Plains are just a place for adult creatures to arrive and or creature who has protection. So in that case, it's kind of my fault. At the time, however, I was rather frustrated over that there was a good target, but were not without danger. I had no way of confirming it, but the Hatsugopteryx weren't attacking the baby aloe, and he seemed pretty comfortable around the T-Rex, meaning that the chances of them being in group was high. With this many watchful eyes and creature who can send me to oblivion, it was better for me to just keep playing the nice guy role. I also ran into a familiar face, one who seemed to have been made an example of for not following the peace. This body is rather big. No! That is the aloe who attacked me not long ago. Oh, you poor sod. You just wanted to kill me. So, and you were rather aggressive, so I feel like this is a bit of comeuppance. But you poor sod. I do appreciate you, though, for getting your ass kicked instead of me. Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but I'd rather you getting your ass wrecked instead of me. Seeing that Grand Plains wouldn't give me what I want, I throttled through the land, hoping to find what I was searching for. Unfortunately, much to my dismay, many of the creatures I found were either not alone, or they were simply too big for me to handle. I spent a lot of time trying to find the perfect target. To make things worse, on official servers, you can't just switch your arsenal on a dime by just simply laying down. You need to be in a home cave. My arsenal during this challenge wasn't meant for fighting, it was meant for speed. It was meant to be able to get away quickly during chase. Out of all the tasks I've received, even after this task, this one was the most frustrating. Mostly because I feel like I was a bit unlucky with the server. Most of the people was playing in groups, so it was difficult finding ideal targets. After spending so much time looking for the perfect target, it finally came to me. A young Ceratosaurus. Some at all, probably. He was a bit too big for an adolescent. After all this time, this was the target I was looking for. Young, not too big, alone, and vulnerable. Hello! Ah, oh, you are bringing such hope to my eyes, young Serato. Listen, you have no idea how long I've been searching for a target just like you. Normally, I frown upon the idea of dealing with enemies that are not a match for me. However, right now, hey, don't run from your death. Death is something all living creatures eventually only have left. Besides, I'm pretty sure I spent the entire day 9 hours trying to find a fucker like you, so I am not letting you go. I know it's painful, I know it's painful. Just accept it, just accept it. Let the darkness take over. Just let the darkness have a grip and then just pull you in. Just accept it. There you go. There you go. Fine! I actually did spend a lot of time trying to find the right target, so I didn't have that much until the next task. So I logged off and wanted to continue another day. I spent the time I had left AFK and when the time was ready, it was time to spin the ball. Well, since I moved to Crater last time, Green Valley it is. Green Valley, while it's not on the same level as Crater or Grand Plains, it's still a somewhat hot uh, spot, right? 
Hello? Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, I think this is a good hotspot. I took refuge on the steep hill separating Green Valley from Dried Lake. Lucky for me, these hills are so steep that only creatures of a certain size are able to get up there, and that is only if they find the right trail. My biggest danger were the flyers, especially Hapsigopteryx. If they knock me off, I could fall to my death. Luckily, I had bushes to cover me. I just had to hope that the players didn't have grass detail on low. The only time I had to leave the safety of this hill was when I got hungry and or thirsty. Water I could just get from the river. It was food that was the problem. Normally I would just scavenge from the result of a fight. If no body drop, then I would just have to go and find food somewhere else. Green Valley does have a shark body just south for it. However, I hadn't really set up any rules for how long I can be outside this certain area. At the time, I decided to use the quest timer as a countdown. It's not the best, but it's what I had. If this video blows up, I'll make sure to have better rules for the next time I do these type of challenges. This cycle repeated all the way until day 70. The photo showed the wheel didn't sync in properly with the game, but I did get the mission of killing a mid-tier. That's a mid-tier? A baby that? And that is a mid-tier? It said kill a mid-tier, it didn't say that it had to be an adult. A baby that? It's just the baby version of a mid-tier. And now he should be... God. Oh, hi, mama. Don't excuse me, I just... <gasps> that count, that freaking counts. Uh, I'm the reason it died. If it weren't for me, it uh, he wouldn't have died. So I'm a count that. I will leave the judgment of technicalities to you guys. In my case, I went back to being semi-AFK. And if you wonder why I keep saying semi-AFK instead of just AFK, that's because every few minutes I had to go back into the game and just move ever so slightly, just not to be kicked from inactivity. I had YouTube playing on the other monitor. The only time I went back to the game was to drink and or eat, but other than that I didn't do much. On day 80, I forgot to record the screen of the wheel completely, but I got the mission of killing a carnivore. Count yourself lucky, little Eotrike. My mission is to kill a carnivore. And unless you have converted... I have no reason to be all over you. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. You don't seem to have parents, and you're a carnivore. We all know where this is going. Oh well, ain't that a plot twist for ya? Sorry bud, but I ain't repeating all that kill anything fiasco again. Though I suppose I can give you a chance. I then decided to play with them a little, and then I figured out that I might actually lose if I didn't take it seriously. With the Allo's cry of death, I had completed my task. Of course, his teammate wouldn't let me leave, however, with my speed, that wasn't a decision he could make. After that whole ordeal, I just went back, drank some water, ate some food, and went back to my semi AFK spot. I was getting bored of the same view, so I decided to move up north. Here I also would have the terrain advantage with all the thick vegetations. I found me a bush I liked and I continued being semi-FK. Now I just continued this cowardly strategy all the way up to day 90, though I did take a break at day 89. Please don't make me sing, please don't. I will actually prefer something killable rather than... Why did I actually add on... 
Hercule semi-aquatic. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Nobody did force me to go back down south. Whoa there, Akilo. Watch where you're going. Oh wait, he's actively trying to... What the? Are they mix packing? They're probably mix packing. Oh well. I guess this water ain't safe. Oh yeah, he's actively trying to get me. Meh, I can just run into the ocean and then I'll swim out and then I can make it be... Make it a beeline to... Um, what, whistling column maybe? Oh, is it that? What's it called? Oh, that's a Megalania. Oop. Oh, he's turned on a dime. Oh, they're both after me. I forgot I couldn't go into home K when I'm in battle. And I can't take on them both, so... Um, yes, okay. I can separate them. Now I can only uh, take on the Megalania. He does have a just slightly better turn radius, but I might be able to take him on head-to-head -head clash. Come on, bro. Oh, is he, he's stalling for the Echillo to join up. I need to kill him quickly, but I'm losing Stan. And the Echillo is still on the other side. I think he's worried that I will start attacking him if I let out, so... Yes, okay. The Akilo is making his way to me now. I can't be on this island anymore. So I had to... Don't know where the Megalania went. Oh, there he is! There he is! Okay. To make sure that um, the Akilo doesn't join up. Shit. Okay, he's on this side. Okay. The Megalania doesn't seem to know that he has the advantage over me in water. He is better at swimming in than I am. Okay, good. There we go. Even when you mix packing, you couldn't take me on. Yeah, take this and give it to your friend when he joins up with you. Whoa, okay, jeez. Also, I just realized, Megalania are semi-aquatics, right? I did it! For my final, I moved back up north. I don't know, I feel like it's safer up there. This was my final task. If I fail this, then I lose the challenge. And unlike the other task where I had 10 days as duration to complete the task. I now have only one day, 45 minutes to kill a herbivore. Now I know that uh, because I survived 100 days, this challenge are technically over. However, there is no real way for me to measure that I play exactly 100 days in this game. I just had to... Uh, keep tab on how long I play each time I play this game. The extra day are just for good measure and also to give a good final. Do my eyes deceive me? I think I heard and saw something akin to a herb before. <gasps> a little pepe noodle. Oh, I'm sorry my little pepe noodle. But you are going to be my ticket out of this challenge. Listen, I'm sure that you're a fresh spawn too and I'm sorry, but I've been playing this game way longer for you have and I am so tired. So please, just die. Give me peace. I did it. I survived a hundred days on official Battle Titan servers. Though so I kinda have to admit. I didn't really participate in battles, I only fought when I really had to, and, um, well, I really acted like a coward this entire time, only going after the weak fellas. Hmm, hmm, kind of an empty feeling when I think about it. Oh, wait, there's one victory, I don't have to delete my anti-folder. 